Uh, I've mixed up a blue-brown-gray color. The main thing here is not so much the color, but the value. It's really important that you make the tops of these trees as dark as possible as they come down into the scene. In the middle of the scene, we could actually lift out some of the color, and we could do that simply by rolling a paper towel along it. And we'll see why we want to lighten that later on. And we'll put in a few more trees, doing the same thing. As the trees come down, they reach some spot in the snow cover that starts to define an edge of snow. Up at the top, while I'm adding in this color for branches, I could also use a second brush to put in smaller twigs and limbs so that I have the same darkness and the same value in the two of them. There's no rush here. Take your time to put these trees in with as much detail as you wish. Try and give each tree a sense of character in its shape. Try not to make them all the same. Try not to have them all the same spacing. Okay. Now, the next stage will be to paint in the dark trees in behind. I should point out that there are a couple of large trees in the foreground here. One on this side and a couple over on this side that I also want to put in. But I'll put those in after I've painted the darker trees in the background. I'll just paint around them so, just so as to save them. I've mixed up a dark, a dark green using phthalo blue and burnt sienna for my trees. And that dark color will serve me very well for my the suggestion of evergreens down in the valley here. Now, where I come to a small branch like that, it's much simpler just to paint over it. Like so. Keep on going. And then when that gets down to the damp stage, simply take a palette knife and scrape the limb back in again. The whole idea here is to move as quickly as possible not to get hung up on a whole lot of details. You notice those tree trunks that were dark before? Notice how they're all of a sudden much lighter. This dark paint that I'm putting on now that is defining the shape of evergreens in behind is also making them look a lot lighter. And that's just about dry enough to scrape that limb back. And any others that I want to put in this stage. I'm going to continue these across the surface here because this is what is defining the top of the ski trail as it comes to the top of the mound and then disappears on the other side. It's the darkness of these trees that are doing it. So this dark area has defined the top of the snow as well as the deciduous trees that uh, are growing out of it.